Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. US 30 is pushing up even higher. Real strong day yesterday, closing at the top of the range, trying to re-challenge potential resistance at 17,895 as the global equity markets are still punched strong from the FOMC. And we also had the uh, Bank of Japan governor last night coming out with a very upbeat statement on Japan, talking about more stimulus, etc., etc. dollar yen, really reversing course. Uh, 119 now after coming off 150 on its way up to 120 potentially US markets almost at all-time highs again after just three sessions of bullish momentum UK 100 obviously great day yesterday trading at that 55 period SMA dodgy formation right now as oil prices continue to weigh on oil and gas resource companies in the UK 100 uh, with oil prices down around about $54 and dropping as we speak so UK 100 particularly vulnerable to any moves in that if we 54 is already priced in as we get closer to $50 that starts to impact the UK 100 again there a little bit um, but this uh, 55 period SMA seems to be the cap in the short term looking at Japan 25 obviously that dollar yen um, effects across the yen weakness really helping Japan 225 and obviously um, Bank of Japan Governor uh, Kuroda has a statement last night very upbeat more stimulus that's really positive for Japan 225 trading above potential resistance 17,498 looking now towards 18,000 nice decent springboard we've already had a retracement back down to 17,496 this morning and it's pushed up that little bit higher today so Japan 225 looking very interesting Dollar yen, as we just talked about, peaked its head above potential resistance at 119. Short term potential resistance 121. Obviously, stimulus for Japan uh, would be negative for yen. And after FOMC, the dollar is looking pretty strong. Moving quickly on to crude oil West Texas. Um, negative day yesterday, failure to break, same as the day before. Trading below potential support at 54 spot 85, if only just. Next potential resistance all the way down at 35. And obviously, we talked about this loads of times before. Saudis are quite willing to support a $40 barrel of oil, but certainly the markets don't seem to be held back by the fact that oil is dropping. So there does seem to be a little bit of decoupling from there, but a lot of that negativity is already been priced into the equities affected by that drop in oil prices. Gold's a bit of an non-event. Failure to break yesterday higher to challenge 12.18. A failure on Tuesday to break higher, um, also adding extra weight. We're ticking up a little bit just now, but let's face it, with these, these candles right here and a cap with a 21.55 period SMA, and dollar strength and interest rate maybe coming mid 2015 still um gold's probably not going to be having a huge massive rally anytime soon but it does sometimes surprise so just be careful if you are trading it finishing up there with euro dollar and gbp usd euro dollar um there was a meeting yesterday with junker and the rest of the um eurozone heads talk about russia the economy etc etc they're still talking about a rate cut, more stimulus, blah, blah, blah. And obviously, we've already talked about the US dollar strength, the greenback. So technical breakout we actually had there on Thursday, on Wednesday, sorry, uh, breaking below one spot, 23.67. Um, we moved again lower again uh, yesterday, and uh, we're not really getting a huge amount of bounce today. Um, Short-term potential support, one spot, 22.52, targeting one spot, 20.47 longer term if uh, the fundamentals remain in check. So that euro rally seems to be kind of over. And looking at GBP USD, uh, actually a big, big bounce yesterday. If this trend line actually remains intact, and we did kind of break through it there on uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday, um, maybe you're probably better off looking at one spot for 743 as the next potential proper resistance. Um, this bounce yesterday on cable was kind of surprising. Uh, in fact, if we just go back on the economic calendar, uh, oh, of course we had we had UK retail sales came in much stronger than expected. Those figures there are quite, quite, quite incredible. And uh, even the ZEW business report came out slightly better than expected. So that is in itself is, is quite interesting. Um, obviously not much happening today. Uh, we do have more UK data, uh, public net sector borrowing, um, which might mean that GBP USD uh, could get an extra shot. Uh, but one spot 57.43 could be the short term cap on that FX pair. If we fast forward on to Monday, um, Monday we've got uh, Eurozone CPI and US home sales and then Tuesday balance of payments uh, GDP for the UK and then durable goods and gross domestic product for the US fair amount of economic data actually out on Tuesday the 23rd of December um, probably has a lot of people winding down their trading uh, but that is uh, still some interesting macro data events to help drive FX and indices uh, as ever guys keep your eye on the chart forum for more trade setups from our global analyst team make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again on Monday to find out what happened next